We are obsessed with our pets today, and it's for good reason, but there are more cats sprawled out across American couches than dogs, and despite that, there's still the misunderstood part of the household pets duo there, and Wendy Diamond, the pet diva, and a cat named Drex is joining us. Welcome, Wendy and Drex. How are you? I'm great, I'm great. So introduce us to Drex. I know he's a cat from the Humane Society. Right, Drex is a cat from the Humane Society, up for adoption, and there are millions of cats up for adoption across the country, and especially in Ohio, right, that are needed for, you know, to have happy homes. And so we're here today to despise a lot about cat myths. And one thing I have to tell you, Natalie, is that it's really important for people who have cats to understand how to care for your cat. Mm -hmm. And one of the myths that we want to discuss is milk is good for cats absolutely wrong. Actually many cats are, are lactose intolerant and it's hard for them to digest milk. So it's important to not give your cats milk. That's a huge one actually because we see that in movies. We, I mean we've seen it I think in, in movies since movies started. We see them you know giving them a, a bowl of milk. So don't do that. If you see a stray cat don't give him milk. Don't do it. Okay. Yep. Absolutely, because a lot of, uh, believe it or not, many cats are actually lactose intolerant, so that's really important. Another myth is cats are only at risk for fleas during the summer. Absolutely false. Actually, fleas are a year-long problem, and it's important to realize um, fleas can cause hair loss, allergy reactions, and, uh, you know, tapeworm infections. So it's really important to use a flea preventive once a month, 12 months, a year. Also another myth, by the way, that is really interesting, is that did you know that a cat who purrs is a happy cat? What do you think, yes or no, Natalie? I always thought purring was a good sign. Actually not, actually purring is a way for them to communicate. So they actually will purr also if they're not feeling so well. So it's a really important for somebody who has a cat to understand the purr of their cat because a cat is a way to communicate. So they might be purring if they're not feeling so well. And so it's like, it's kind of like a baby's cry almost. You gotta know, you have to be able to read the situations and the sound of it, right? Right. That's very interesting. Yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to pay attention my, next time my cat purrs. Ah! And also it's really important, it's summertime, right? Remember, it is so hot outside that cats can also get heat stroke. So make sure you also put on the air conditioner, you put on a fan, because you know you don't want them to overheat, especially in your apartment or home. And when you're taking them outside and they're outside, bring them out in the morning or the nighttime. Because you know it's very important for their health to make yeah. sure they're a little bit cool. Also, another important fact is the most important relationship to your cat, besides you as the cat parent, is the vet. You need to have a yearly checkup for your cat. That is so important. Just like humans need a physical every year, it's very important for your cat to get a vet checkup to make sure they have a happy, healthy, long life. Wendy, some, some great tips. We'll make sure to take care of our cats. Like they're, They are our little babies, so you have to treat them as such. Thank you for your tips, Absolutely. Wendy. Absolutely, and there's so many... And Natalie, there's so much more information too, like if you want to learn more about cat myths and everything, and also more information on how to care for your cat, if you go to catmythbusters.com, you'll get a kick out of it. There's some really interesting stuff there. Oh, that sounds fun. Wendy, thank you so much. Give Drex a little kiss for me there too. Thank you.